Hello, my name's Neil Kulkarni. I'm a freelance journalist and have been for the last uh, nearly 20 years. I didn't decide I wanted to be a journalist. Um, I sent a letter to a music magazine I used to read called Melody Maker, which is now defunct. i just left uni, and I, but I, I've been avidly reading the music press and heavily into music for, for a long time. And I sent them a letter explaining why I thought they were shit, um, or why I thought what they were doing at the time wasn't very good. They liked the letter sufficiently to print it on their letters page and make it letter of the week. And at the end of it, they said, um, do you think you can do any better? And being a cocky, arrogant little git as I was back then, um, I said, yeah. I phoned them and I said, yeah. They got me to do some sample articles and they liked them sufficiently enough to hire me. Um, I can tell you the one, the interview that always sticks with me that I enjoyed the most was Harry Shearer, who does the voice of Mr. Burns and The Simpsons and it's also Derek Smalls in Spinal Tap. Um, I phoned him at his house in Los Angeles to interview him about the Spinal Tap box set and he answered the phone um, just as himself um, and then realised it was the interview for Spinal Tap and he goes, oh sorry, I'm just a houseboy. Derek will be on the phone in 10 minutes. So I put the phone down and he phones back in 10 minutes in character as Derek Smalls, the basis of Spinal Tap and he just is, he improvises for about an hour on the phone, this interview. And it's genuinely, I mean, people say rolling around the floor, laughing your ass off all the time now as a kind of internet thing. But I genuinely was rolling around the floor, laughing my ass off. It was one of the funniest interviews I've ever done. I was massively into writing and reading from a very young age. Um, but I, I, I didn't know you could make a living out of writing. And I didn't um, really, it's not really pushed at kids as a future career being a writer. It wasn't, wasn't then anyway. Writers just seem to be old people. I do, I do want to continue writing for the rest of my life. I want to continue making music for the rest of my life. Hopefully settling into a nice frail dotage in my old age whereby I can write soundtracks and things like that. That would be lovely. I was too fearful to be in a band for a long time because I'm quite a shy person. Um, but I, again, it wasn't something that I decided to do. It was forced upon me. Somebody sort of asked me to come along to a rehearsal with my guitar because they heard me playing guitar at a party and they couldn't believe that I could, basically. Um, so they invited me along and it all kind of grew from there. There's, there's a difference between in being inspired by the sound of a band or being inspired by the spirit of a band. And, and for me, even though our band sounds like all kinds of different pop music, basically pop music inspires me. Really I want to be a pop star. I want to be number one in the, in the, in the hit parade, please.